Hi guys. Sorry, I have been procrastinating on this um, cash envelope stuffing -ness. So, here's my envelope of cash that I went and got. And I pulled out um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 for my allowance and 150 for my food. So, um, here's my wallet that I keep my grocery stuff in. Um, I don't have any personal money left. I have to figure out this tripod thing. Um, and I don't have... Uh, well, I do have some pet money left. Um, but I'm not going to pull this out until the 15th. I have uh, 25, 6, 7, 8. 28 bucks left for my pets. And then for my grocery leftover from November, I have 20, 35 bucks. So, of course, not organized at all. Okay, so that money goes into my, um, this is the can that I use for my grocery money. So then all I do is write down, of course, I don't even have a pencil around here. Jiminy, Christmas. It's like I'm not organized. Okay, here we go. So, um, what day is today? The... Ah, oh, calendar's not even changed over. December 4. Sorry, guys. So, 12, 4, plus, what did I say it was? 35? So, I should have 102 in here. Let's see, 50... Uh, 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, so that's 102. So, yes, I do have 102 plus, let's put these guys where they go. So, let's see, there's 100, 10, 10, 15, 20, yeah, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, let's see, uh, 20, 30, and 7, 137. Right, because 5 plus 2 is 7. Yeah, duh, that's easy math. Math 137. Okay, so that's pretty much all that I do in my cans. Um, okay, so there's that one. So I've emptied that, which means that I can put my grocery money in here. I put my active 50 to the front next week's 50 and my spare 50 go to the back so that's it there's a uh, hundred bucks in that little flap and 50 bucks to the big flap so that's my groceries and then my uh, allowance goes into the back back here I do have some reconciling to do before I can give myself my 20 for this week. 
Um, I have forty dollars left over, and here's a hundred. So we're putting December's money here into this. I still have to. Um, I still have to deal with all of these November receipts, which is basically double check that they're all entered into my calendar, and um, yeah. That's like the main thing. And then double check and then put them over into my other my other envelope. I do have a couple of receipts here from last week. There's uh, groceries and fuel that I still need to write into my November. So there's that, all of that. So yeah, I'm not doing super awesome at keeping up with what I've got going on in my grocery, or in my, oh man, there's like oil on my, on my kitchen island here or something, I don't know. So I had to enter that in there. So yeah, I do have a lot of work to do before I can give myself a 20 for this week. It's only Monday, so I'm not worried about it. Um, let's get those guys put back in here. And then let's get these. And we'll just throw them right here for now. And pull this over. Okay, so next thing that I have to do with these 20s, they would normally go in my rainy day fun, get it? Because it rains, it pours. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Okay, so anyway. Um, in here, I put my leftovers from my allowance for last week. And that was $2. And also the money from the cans that I turned in. I got a six fifty and then the two quarters went into my coin jar. So now with this money that I've got here, I am ready to pay back my pet fund. So there is this and then I've got this. So I owe my pet fund according to this. 46 bucks. So 20, 40, 5, 6 dollars. That leaves me with two dollars in my pet fund. Okay, so where are we at? We are 12, 4 plus. All right, paid off pay pet plus. $2. Yay, my rainy day fund. It's like totally stocked. Okay, so then I just throw that little paper into there. Oops, wrong way. And that's how I keep track of it. There's a lid, but it's like way over there. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. And this is my pet fund. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's probably too shiny. That's probably too shiny. Ah, too shiny. Okay, so here's my forty-six dollars. So we are at twelve. Yeah. Four. We are at 100 and 146. <laughs> Should be. Let's double check. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 146. Yep, we're good. So, um, that is it. That's just how I transfer my money over to my cans. The 
This one has, it's got a cute little lid on it too. That's, I don't know. But anyway, so that's the gist of that. Um, I will take the information that I wrote down on these little cards and I will transfer that over into my, my big budget permanent book so that I can keep track of that. But anyway, so that is um, envelope stuffing and cash leftovers going to my cans. That is, that is it. That's, that's how complicated all of this is. And this is how complicated sinking funds can be. I mean, how uncomplicated sinking funds can be. Anyway, alright, I'm gonna go, I got more cans to turn in before I go to work. I worked a, uh, an eight hour shift this weekend and got three ginormous bags of cans. Yes, I had to sift through garbage, but... You don't turn away potentials for money. And I had access to rubber gloves, so, oh well. And I also have the ability to wash my clothes afterwards. But it was only like three hour old garbage, so it wasn't gross gross. It was just kind of like, ew, why would somebody just decide to use this garbage can as a spittoon? Ugh. But anyway, so I probably made, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks in cans from them. But I do have to do some work. I have to um, open all the water bottles and let the water out because that's bad for the machines. But other than that, see how much I get. So um, I know uh, Susan Lore had mentioned putting that towards my dental fund, and I think that's a good idea. Um, now that my cans are back in balance again, I think that's probably what I will do. Um, the other thing that I was thinking was to bring these, all of these cans up to their maximum balance and then whatever I had left over every month from these, um, my cash envelope, or my, yeah, my cash envelope, my spending, regular spending cash envelopes um, will go back to the bank and that will pay for that because I do want to get um, I do want to get a really good buffer here for my pets at a minimum um, I don't really have very much that I need now here I bought underwear I bought jeans and I bought socks might be due for a new pair of shoes here soon but um, I can just save up 20 bucks at a whack um, with my allowance so that's not, I'm not super worried about this, but I do want to make sure that I've got enough money to take care of my pets. See, biscuit. It's like dog biscuits. Huh. Yeah. Anyway. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.